So now let's pick up where I left off. So R1 is the primary gateway towards the internet. R2 is the backup because I introduced the higher metric while introducing those. So default metric on R1 here is uh, do show run section router OSPF. This is the default information originate command which introduces metric 10. The same command on R2 the same command on R2 introduces metric of 20 so it's less preferred and the problem is when there is an indirect failure from R1 perspective in I introduced the problem on internet one I shut down the interface R1 is still um, introducing default route because its interface is up and the static routing towards the gateway is still there. So how do I solve this problem? Um, in the previous video I shut down the interface so let me just do no shuts on, on internet one. So let's bring this back to where it should be. So how do I solve that problem? Okay let's create first of all a probe. So what I'm going to be doing is I will be introducing default routes, static routes, into OSPF on the condition that the reachability to 10.1.10.254 is actually working, that the communication is working end to end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce an IPSLA probe which will be sending ICMP hello packet kind of which is actually ICMP ping packet every five seconds and if that fails the probe that is doing this pinging should report a, a failure timeout so let's create a probe first the command is IPSLA and uh, it requires a number here so I'll say one and now in that probe I'll be using ICMP echo packets so that's a ping packet towards 10.1.10.254 if that succeeds the probe will return the code OK and frequency will be every five seconds that should do now this is not doing anything at this point so this probe is just sitting there um, but it's not actually working so if I do, do show IP SLA summary there's nothing working. The return code is unknown because it's not working just yet. But I will enable that probe. So I'll say IPSLA schedule and I made it number one here. The SLA is number one probe. I'll say lifetime forever and start time now. So now it is actually doing the job. It is sending ICMP hello packets or ping packets. Uh, if I do, do show IP SLA summary, I'll see that the last return status was OK. It was zero seconds ago. So if I repeat that a few times, it's one second ago. Every five seconds, I'll be sending hello packets. Now I can do also stat statistics and return code is OK. But this probe is just doing that job and nobody's actually watching it. So now I need to create somebody who's going to be watching it. And that's going to be track object. So track, let's say number 100. And I will be watching IPSLA probe number one. This object is now somebody who is watching for the return code. Do show track. And the last operation return code from the IPSLA one here is OK. So as long as this is working, now I can introduce that tracking object into our problem. So right now, my static route is kind of indefinitely uh, put into the routing table. So as long as this interface is up, which is the next hop, whoops, I clicked the wrong thing, do show IP route static as long as the next of address is reachable from the perspective of the router and do show IP routes how do you get there so as long as this interface is up which takes us to the to the next of address is up and running do show interface E0310 Line. 
as long as this interface is up, that entry exists. And as long as it exists, default information originate. is going to be introduced. However, what I want to do here is I want to remove this statement as is configured and now this will be introduced into routing table as static route on the condition that the ping watched by track number returns the code 0. How do I do that? First I need to remove that command because it would create two of them and then I'll, I'm going to say, OK, this will be introduced into OSPF as long as the truck object returns the code OK, which in turn relies on this IP SLA pinging every five seconds. So if that is working, all is good. We have this introduced into into routing table as a static default route and this command will work. This command will work. Should the ping not respond, it will remove withdraw that static route and as a result the OSPF won't introduce that into OSPF anymore and the only one introducing static default route redistributed into SPF will be R2 with this command. Let's see, emulate that. So I'm going to go back again to this guy and I'm going to shut the interface. Well, let's go back to R1 and watch the logs. The tracking object should go down now in right about now. And it says oh, IP SLA state report it's from up to down. So do show IP SLA summary. The code is timeout. As a result, do show track. We have a timeout here as well, and their static route is no longer introduced into routing table, and this command no longer works. This command will no longer introduce anything into SPF because it's gone from the from the routing table. So right now, if I look at the show IP route command. R2 is the only one introducing the default route, so no shot here. The probe will start working correctly, it goes from state down to up. So if I go to return code OK on in the probe and do show track, it's also OK. We still introduce default route here and we will still advertise that in OSPF with this command. With this command. So as long as the static route is there, this is going to work. So if I go back here and I check show IP route, my next hub becomes R1 back again. So that's a reliable way of introducing default route into OSPF using IP SLA and the tracking object.